cats in here. Beautiful kittens. Uh, the crew's dropping off some more. Bring them right in here, Andrea. And drop them here. They're only going to stay for a second, but they're available at the BCSPCA. We got Caterpillar. Who else do we have? Blackie. Blackie. Uh, Switzerland. And S Coral. Switzerland. Caterpillar. Ooh. Blackie and Coral, who's just a little baby that I'm holding here. What oh. are we talking about when it comes to the kittens? They're just going to run around the studio. <laughs> There's no point in trying to hold on to a cat. It's like herding cats. It is. Now we know it where is. that comes from. And you're from. doing really well. Thank you. So these these guys are from our West Van branch. Okay. And they were all in foster before they came back into the shelter. And they, how they ended up in foster was uh, because they were too young to be in the shelter because it's right. with adult cats, it's a, it's a risk for them to be in there for disease, their little immune systems, can't fight off the diseases, so we send them into foster. She's so per box. So now they're available for adoption. Yes. This yes. one seems so young. I know, I know. But she's, she's ready for adoption. She's, I believe she's spayed already too. Even we do, pe yes she is, Whoops. we do pediatric spay wow. and neuters just to cut back on the population, like really prevent the over unwanted or unwanted population. So if somebody's looking at Coral here going, that's my cat, we're going to West Vancouver and what yeah. are we doing? What's involved? They're, they're going to go in, talk to the staff and the volunteers there and actually it's kids camp, camp week too, so talk to the kids. Talk to the kids. Uh, they uh, will fill out a uh, survey to find out what type of cat or kitten they're looking for and then they'll go from there, go meet her. And What's the cost? Cost? Uh, Generally for, speaking. Mm, you go, we have we have sp uh, sales on also, so you're looking at almost 200. 200 bucks. Here's what you get though: you get a spayed kitten. Yeah. You get vaccines, dewormer, advanced flea treatment, six weeks free insurance. Wow. Right. That's good stuff. Yeah. It's that advantage, good. just the flea and tick, the heartworm flea and tick on its own is 60 bucks. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, so that's yes. you're getting a good jump start oh, with these, absolutely. right? You, you can't. I mean, you get a free kitten, and you still have to pay for all your spay and everything else. So no, it's 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 a really it's really a good, good deal. deal. I love coral. I'll just have you know. This is a good kitten. Not that there's anything wrong with you, my darling. Can we swap out the cats? I do want to bring in the dog that you've brought in today. Yes, What's Smudge. What's the story about behind Smudge? Look at they're frantically putting kittens away. <laughs> That's okay, guys. Well, so wanting to foster a dog, because uh, it's a five-day foster with most adoptions anyway to see if the dog is. Uh, there you go, Andrea. Thank you. And uh, once we get once we get clear of kittens, we can bring the dog in because yeah. I guess the dog is quite cat obsessed. He's he's cat one. obsessed, and we do. I mean, we don't want to scare the kittens. We don't want them to have a bad no, experience. We don't want them to meet him right now. Yeah. So with fostering, how it works is you you can come in and you don't have to commit long term. If a dog has a broken leg or a baby kittens, they need fostering for six, seven weeks, eight weeks, or a yeah. mom with nursing kittens, you can helpfully commit to that. We'll supply you with the food, any vet treatments, anything you need. Just you provide them a happy, uh, loving home home environment and yeah. some love and affection yeah. and here comes Smudge. Smudge. Come here Smudge. Smudge. Come here sweet pea. Oh, Do you want to come oh, here? Hi. Oh come here. Oh, hello. Look oh. come on up. We don't mind here on the BT couch. You're allowed. Okay so this is an adorable dog. Hey Smudge. Dude. Look this way, dude. dude the people need to see you man. Hi. So who gives up a dog I know, like this? I know. He ca he came in. Uh, apparently he was uh, escaping from the yard. Oh. And you know what? I understand. Yes. He loves people. Yeah. He wants to be at the shelter. He's having a hard time in the kennels. He wants yeah. to be around people, so they have him up front. Right. And loves. He's so chilled. If you work from home and you want a, a really nice companion, this he's is your a boy. love. Yeah. Now he's got a gray face. Does that mean he's a senior? Is he just sort of mid range? Mid, well, he's mid. mid he's mid. Oh, they, he came yeah. in. They said he was about five, but our vets uh, we figure maybe he's closer to eight. Hi. He's really, really just he's a, really a nice good one. boy. Yeah. He's he's looking so for cats. If somebody he's looking for cats right now because we smell like cats. <laughs> so you're looking for a home for Smudge, or are you looking for a six months? Uh, foster. foster. Even a foster, I think, yeah. because he's not doing well, and, and when he's in the in the back kennels, if, if the staff can't have him up front, he barks, and then people are just like, oh, he's just noisy. He's just, he's not. He's really, really good dog. So I don't know a dog, personally, that isn't freaked out by going into the vet or the kennels yeah, or whatever, yeah. that environment where they're like, oh, you're you're taking me back, right? Yeah, yeah, it's so stressful. let's give this guy a home. He's so Oh, good. Smudge. Where do we find Smudge, Kim? Vancouver Shelter. Right He's at, there. So that's at Great Northern Way and, and Clark, Clark Drive. Yes, we're yes. right there. So go Except in the there. Street. Kids Camp Day. Ask the kids. They'll tell you about the good dogs and cats. And the great works of Kim Monteith and her crew. Thank you so much for being here. We're going to take a break.